Welcome to the EE Research Seminar Series. In this seminar, we will use research to explore the goals of urban environmental education. This seminar will help you reflect on your own environmental education program and think creatively about what impacts you can make on urban residents, communities and environments. Cities offer great opportunities and also different environmental and social challenges. To address these challenges, urban environmental education programs pursue various goals. For example, programs are trying to promote recycling behavior among urban residents, or help students appreciate urban parks, or promote trust in communities or achieve other goals. Providers of urban environmental education are also remarkably diverse. They include public schools, community-based organizations, zoos, botanical gardens, park conservancies, volunteer groups, museums, outdoor recreation clubs, and youth development programs. But urban environmental education programs are similar in that they work with urban residents, operate in cities, and face specific urban social and environmental issues. They also take advantage of unique opportunities offered by cities. We define urban environmental education as any environmental education that takes place in a city. To understand the diversity of urban environmental education programs and their goals, we analyzed more than 100 academic publications. Scholars have used the term urban environmental education since the late 1960s, but environmental education programs in cities were being conducted as far back as the early 20th century. Early publications that mention urban environmental education tend to focus on nature conservation and nature study in cities. More recent publications highlight sustainability, climate change, environmental justice, and place-based education. Based on diverse goals of urban environmental education described in books and recent articles, we identified five broad trends of urban environmental education. Let's explore these trends. Maybe some of them resonate with your own urban environmental education program, and other trends may help you think about any additional goals of your environmental education program. We call the first trend City as Classroom. The goal of this trend is to facilitate learning about science, ecology, and the environment using urban, outdoor, and indoor settings. Programs within this trend often take advantage of urban ecosystem to teach about biodiversity and environmental quality. They also use street trees, parks, green infrastructure, industrial sites, and museums to help people understand local and global ecosystem processes. Programs in this trend also teach about local history, ecosystems, and neighborhoods. Approaches in this trend include nature study, environmental monitoring, community mapping, measurement of ecosystem services, and citizen science. Trend 2 is problem solving. The main goal of this trend is to mitigate serious environmental and related social problems that directly impact human life. Educators following this trend generally believe that the development of environmental knowledge, attitudes, and skills contributes to individual pro-environmental behavior, such as reducing consumption, participation in environmental activism, or taking part in community cleanups. Initially, this trend focused on acute environmental problems such as air and water pollution, ecosystem degradation, and infrastructure decay. Later, it expanded to include related social issues such as community health and nutrition, unemployment, gentrification, and environmental injustice. Within this trend, education programs often take place in collaboration with neighborhood councils, faith-based organizations, community centers, housing agencies, and grassroots initiatives. Examples of such programs include environmental activism, conservation education, action research, environmental justice education, and climate change education. The third trend is environmental stewardship. 
The strand fosters community-based management of urban ecosystems and other natural resources. Instead of focusing on the negative consequences of environmental issues, such as pollution and environmental injustice, programs in this strand nurture long-term care and support of green spaces, biodiversity and ecosystem services. A general assumption is that citizens and communities are able to design, restore and maintain local urban ecosystems. Following this trend, youth and adults in education programs may install green roofs, maintain rain gardens, raise young oysters in artificial reefs, pull invasive weeds or create bird habitats. In addition to providing learning opportunities, these projects benefit people in the neighborhoods and the environment. Programs that illustrate this trend include grassroots stewardship and education, civic ecology education, green jobs training and some youth employment programs. Youth and community development is the first trend. In contrast to other trends that focus on the environment, this trend uses the environment and environmental learning to foster positive use development and community well-being. For example, education programs within this trend try to improve life and citizenship skills, self-esteem and self-confidence among youth. Through asset-based community development and community organizing, these programs are also trying to improve social norms and empower communities to take collective action. This trend does, however, connect back to the environmental goal because healthy and empowered people and communities are likely to make positive environmental changes. Youth development programs, adventure education, youth counseling, and community development programs all illustrate this trend. City as social ecological system is the last trend. This trend helps us to reimagine what cities are and how to manage them to achieve desired social and environmental outcomes. Programs within this trend help participants understand that both ecological and social aspects of cities are important and can successfully coexist and flourish. To celebrate, explore and redefine urban life and sustainability, educators involve participants in green design, urban planning, photography, art, hands-on community-based environmental activities and tours of green infrastructure. This trend welcomes environmental and social innovations and helps people view cities as integrated social ecological systems. Any approaches to explore social and ecological aspects of cities can be part of this trend. Do you think that any of these trends reflect your programs? Well, you probably realize that in reality, urban environmental education programs often combine more than one trend and try to achieve more than one goal. For example, New York Harbor School combines the city as classroom trend and environmental stewardship trend. In this school, students learn in classrooms and outdoors about science and environment and also cultivate and reintroduce oysters into the city's estuary. In the Bronx, at the organization called Youth Ministries for Peace and Justice, Youth reduce rainwater runoff pollution by creating a rain garden, advocate for transforming post-industrial blighted areas into green spaces, and develop leadership skills, which is consistent with the problem-solving and youth and community development trends. Remember that despite their differences, all trends aim to enhance human well-being and environmental integrity in cities. Does your own urban environmental education program directly or indirectly benefit students, communities and ecosystems? Try to think creatively about the goals of your program. EE research seminars are designed to help you understand environmental education research and to improve your environmental education programs based on that research. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check other EE research seminars.